why Lightroom crops your photos and what to do about it. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Rick McAvoy, photographer, blogger, podcast creator and all things photography. I hope you're doing well today. Um, this week on my blog, the very subject I've already mentioned. Well, there are many different settings in cameras and also in Lightroom and sometimes we change things that cause problems. I do plenty times, I can assure you. So let's do the answery bit, as I like to say. There are a number of reasons why Lightroom is cropping your photos. One, when the aspect ratio set in camera is not the same as that that Lightroom is using. Two, when Lightroom is applying lens corrections to photos. Three, if you're applying a custom crop to photos. Four, if constrained crop is selected in the transform panel. To stop Lightroom from cropping your photos, make sure that the aspect ratio you're shooting in is correct and consistent with what you're working with in Lightroom. Know what settings you've changed and what you've done to images on import. If needed, reset the developed settings back to default settings. And if it bothers you, turn off constrained crop when you're working in the transform panel. Right, that's the, um, that's the headline news. So why am I talking about this? Well, why not? I spent a lot of time talking about um, other specific things and um, I want to spend a few weeks picking up on some questions that I've had in the back of my mind for a long time that need answering. Okay, so that's this week's blog post. So what is cropping? Well, it's rude to assume, isn't it, that everybody knows what uh, cropping is. Cropping is like zooming in on a photo after you've taken it. You, you crop in to exclude things from normally from around the edges and make make the subject matter more prominent, okay? Um, but you don't want Lightroom doing cropping for you, do you? No, you don't, and no, I don't. Cropping is not Lightroom's job. That's your job as a photographer, and mine come to that. So no, Lightroom shouldn't be cropping our photos. We should be doing it. So the main thing really is aspect ratios. And on the blog post, I've done some um, some surprisingly good screenshots from Lightroom, which explain this nicely. Because this isn't this is more of a visual thing. So if you go over to my blog at rickmacavoyphotography.com, it's being published today, same time as this video. You will see. Um, well, I'll show you what the crop tool looks like. You can get to it by clicking on the little icon that's lost in the middle of everything or using the super quick keyboard shortcut R, R for crop. I think C was already taken probably by copy which is fair enough isn't it. So the normal aspect ratio, when we say aspect ratio what do I mean? Well if you've taken a photograph in landscape mode, I don't know why I'm looking around trying to find something that's landscape mode-ish but the only I could find is my wallet. Oh, here we go, here's a Here's the back of my COVID vaccination card. I hope that's not too controversial. So horizontal, vertical, 300, 200. That's a three to, three to two crop. <laughs> if a photo's 300 millimeters wide, pixels wide, 300 bananas wide, it will be 200 bananas high. So three to two is an aspect ratio. Three on one side, three on this side, two on that one. I like the banana one. So some, so if my photo's 600 bananas wide, it will be 400 bananas high. Okay, so three to two is the standard aspect ratio in photography. Why do I say that? Well, a full frame camera sensor is 36 millimeters by 24 millimeters, which is a three to two aspect ratio. Now, if you set a different aspect ratio in camera, or if you set a different aspect ratio in Lightroom, you're gonna get cropping. If you're taking a photo at three to two, and your aspect ratio in Lightroom is one to one, you're gonna lose some stuff either side. And that's actually the example on the blog post, which shows nicely what you need to look for. So if you think your photos have been cropped, you go into the crop tool and you've got the white outline of the photograph and then the bits that have been cropped out will be in dark grey, they're greyed out. So it's easy to see which is good. Right, what else do I want to say? 
What else I want to say is this. If you want to know any more about this, why not check out my splendid blog, blog post on my splendid website, which you can get to at rickmacavoyphotography.com. Like I say, there's some good visuals in there which will help explain things, and there's a lot more detail than I'm going to get into a five to six minute video on YouTube. It's not my intention to cover the thing fully. This is just a little taster, hopefully, which will get you interested and get you to my blog site. There you go, I'm being honest about it. Okay, what else do I want to say? I would also like to say, why not check out the Photography Explained podcast, which is my own audio photography offering, which is rather splendid too. The website, photographyexplainedpodcast.com. The podcast, Photography Explained podcast, available on all good podcast providers and and the rubbish ones too if there are any sorry that's an old joke somebody else told me it's available on all podcast providers as far as i know and if you have a podcast provider that doesn't have my podcast on it let me know and i'll get it put on there i'm done thanks for watching and i will hopefully see you next week with another brand new video cheers from me rick <laughs>